I'm a collector. That's what I like to think of myself. But in fact, I'm not much different than a hoarder. A messy, unorganized one. That's the worst thing that can happen to a collector. Because basically, I'm living in a mess. I had a huge amount of clothes I don't wear, but I kept them just in case the trend is back. I kept tools and stationery just in case someday I might need to create an art piece or a video idea. I kept sentimental items just in case one day I forgot about those memories. I've come to realize that I've never touched or looked at this item sitting in my drawer for the past 365 days. Based on LA Times, there are 300,000 items in an average home. So I got really curious how many stuff do I own and I only have the time to calculate how many stuff I have in my room. I have a pretty average room with the size of 12.3 square meter and I have a total number of 1,304 items in my room. That's considered a lot for a room like this. I know it's really redundant for me to count everything in my room just to prove a point. But what I'm trying to say here is like most people, I'm surrounded by things. Things that might not even bring value to me in my life. I'm a messy, unorganized guy who hates mess and I'll get extremely frustrated when my room is in a mess. But yet at the same time, I'll say I'm pretty sentimental because one third of these 1,300 items are sentimental items of photograph and I think it's time for me to declutter. There's a lot of ways and methods for us to declutter physical items out of our life. We have methods like Con Marie, The Packing Party, and the 30 Days Minimalism Game, which is what we're gonna experiment today. So 30 Days Minimalism Game is created by Joshua Fields Milburn from The Minimalist. And I'll say this method is way easier and less sentimental as compared to other methods like Con Marie or The Packing Party. You have 30 days for the game and you will have to declutter one one thing on the first, two on the second, three on the third, until day 30 with 30 items. And you'll find yourself decluttering 465 items from your house at the end of the challenge. I've always wanted to complete this challenge but it's not easy. I tried it a few months back and I stopped at day 16 and managed to get rid of only 100 items. I failed because I couldn't get rid of some sentimental items and just in case items. I wasn't that committed. But now this time, I want to try it again and document it and I'll make it happen this time round with your help as my accountability partner. And if you want to try out this challenge, you can pair with a friend, a partner as your accountability partner and that will definitely make decluttering more fun as you are competing with each other. Before I start, let me clarify, I live with my parents so I'm just gonna declutter whatever is in my room and those that belongs to me and I'm not gonna touch whatever is not mine even though that would be way easier. And now let us start with day one. It's an acrylic box which I made it myself for the purpose of protecting things. This is a good start because there's nothing precious I want to protect now. Day 2. Some of you guys might think I'm crazy for doing this, but this 2 cost companion doesn't give me any value anymore. They just remind me of the word hype. Day 3. I'm saying goodbye to my Chrome Hearts necklace, which I used to think it defines who I am as a person. A travel wallet, and I don't even travel that often. A smartwatch packaging which I have no use for. Day 4. I've decided to throw away my collection of shoes. Air Jordan 4, Nike from Poseidon, Nike Court Force, and a Vans Skate High. Day 5. I got an expensive cap which I rarely wear. What a waste of money. 2 useless bank cards. 2 report books. I don't think you want to look through them. Day 6. Removing medal and trophy, which don't mean anything to me. A roller coaster belt, they are not from Alex. Two photo albums, and a gift box. Day 7. My core Snoopy plushies is such a waste of space and money. They are huge in my small room. A yellow door stopper, an expired sanitizer. Why am I still using them? And lastly, an empty container. Day 8. I have a bunch of t-shirts, jogging shorts, and swimming trunks that I don't enjoy wearing. Day 9. I just came back from my Taiwan trip in May, and I still have some Taiwan coins. Day 10. Hi guys, today is day 10 and everything is still easy, manageable. And what we have today is this stuff. I used to think that I can become a good artist. And these are some of my works. I used to like brains and skull. Oh, that's my Wabi Sabi teacup drawing. A soft gel gloss and a black acrylic paint for coating my jeans. And lastly, a yoga mat band. Day 11 is just a bunch of my passport photos. 14, 17, 19, and 23 years old me. Don't judge. Day 12. 7 marble clay which I made it with my girlfriend. 4 name tags from my primary school. 1 broken hairband which has a sentimental meaning behind it. Day 13. I have a bunch of Simpsons Lego figurines. But sadly, I deleted the B-roll before I got rid of them. 
Day 14, a wedding planner which I gave to my sister during her birthday and she gave it back to me after she got her married. A blue IKEA box, a beanie, I don't need two of them, a Starbucks card. I don't want a card with a well-taught marketing strategy that encouraged me to consume more expensive coffee. A dead cap, which I don't really like them, a pair of my first Air Force One tech, a 25th anniversary Air Force One card. I told you I was a sneakerhead. Two random ropes, a Harley Davidson wallet chain, two wall hooks, and a plastic wrapper. Day 15, a first cap paper pad, few receipt from my Taiwan trip, still have two of my childhood toys, more trash from Taiwan, a 3M sticker from my IKEA frame, day 16, 8 button downs and a super thick jacket, sweatpants, 2 khaki pants and shorts, white pants, a Levi's jeans which I don't like the feet, and lastly, this used to be my favourite pants which I coated in paint, day 17, brown wrapping paper, 10 colour stay, 2 buttons, 4 litre ziplock bags, Today is day 18 and before we carry on, if you like what you see here and would like to support this channel, you can head down to my Patreon link at the description below. Your contribution will definitely help with the growth of this channel and keep this channel going. But if you are not at a point where you can support as a Patreon, totally understand that. You can always help by sharing this with your friends and family or those who you think can gain value out of this video. I really appreciate that and let us carry on. Day 18, a bunch of certificates and nice envelope that meant nothing to me, two chrome hearts match boxes, a ring that was passed to me from my mom, which was from my grandma, the ring receipt, a roll on deodorant. Day 19, 19 printed portfolios when I was in design school. Day 20, my last trip to Thailand was in 2015 and I kept this Thai bar just in case I would travel to Thailand again, some Indonesia coins and oh, I missed out a Taiwan coin. Day 21, when you develop a film roll, you will receive this an envelope, a CD, and also the film strips. During these three years, I've developed film roles for seven times, and I have 21 of them. Day 22, I have a Samsung VR, but I don't even have a Samsung phone. A notebook with some memories in it, an empty tea box, two vintage $1 notes, contact lens boxes, a Magella perfume label, seven cards for transportation and school access, a small gift from my previous boss, which is a chop with my name on it, never use it once, a Ziploc bag, name sticker, iPhone 4 charging cable, a blue ink for the chop, an expired face cream, a used up pumit container. Day 23. These are 23 letters I received either from my mom or when I was in the service. Day 24. This is a file I had when I was younger. I mean you can tell by the amount of stickers on it. 4 useless documents. A colorblind certificate used for school examination. An outdated resume. 6 invoices on my school fee. 9 documents from my bank regarding my school loan. A lampshade from IKEA which I don't use. A book from John Maxwell. Day 25. I missed out one tea previously. Four books from John Maxwell, Zig Ziglar, and Robert Kiyosaki. A notebook from my previous job. Water bottle holder. A SIM card holder. A Magella perfume box. A whistle just in case I'm in danger. A note from my girlfriend. Four useless documents. A yellow bouncy ball. A rope used to wrap the gift. A syringe for my wisdom tooth extraction three years ago. A little SIM card. A letter from Google for my YouTube channel. iPhone pin. A mosquito net. A waterproof pouch. A box filled with my late English IV iPhone. Cute. And lastly, a gift box from my Christmas gift. Alright, today is day 26 and honestly, I'm struggling right now. I can't think of any more stuff to declutter. But yet at the same time, I have 140 items that I need to declutter from today to day 30. I think I need to look into stuff that I didn't plan to declutter at the very first place. Day 26. I have 4 envelopes and photo frames, 4 solo photos and 16 group photos, fish oil container and lastly, hair oil. Day 27. A bunch of stationeries. Is that a compass? I don't even know when's the last time I touched it. Day 28. I have 18 class photos, a nail polish remover, yes no doubt that's mine, facial tonic, toiletry bag, brick Owens tag, marble coaster, a low mo film roll, my childhood curtain, a button down and a track pants. I have a superhero pencil case, classic. Day 29, I'm letting go of more photos, 21 of them, a ziplock, a wallet card, tube of shuttercock, eye drop, Simpsons Lego wrapper, two drawing paper and a worn out laptop. Day 30, and I shall end this challenge with a bunch of boring bank invoices for my school loan. Easy peasy. Finally, day 30. Honestly, it's kind of tough for me because I'm just clearing whatever I have in my room and it's very limited. But one thing I realized is this 30 days minimalism game is kind of like a habit. The daily reputation can build the momentum you need and slowly you will realize that there's a lot of things you actually don't need in your life. But I have to say this game give me a certain level of stress. The difficulty increased daily as the number of stuff you have to declutter increase. It was easy at the beginning decluttering 1, 2, 3 items. There's so many ideas in my mind that what are the stuff that I want to declutter. But once it reaches day 15, I start to realize that I don't have that many stuff I want to declutter and I start to panic because I don't want to miss a day of the challenge like the previous time. 
It's kind of challenging in a positive way, but the mental stress it gives knowing that you have to declutter 20 items a day is kind of daunting. People will tend to feel discouraged if they missed a day and decided to give up just like me on the first try. But just like developing a habit, I think one should not take it so hard on yourself if you didn't perform well or you miss a day. It doesn't mean you should give up on the challenge or give up on developing that habit. You can always start right back again where you left off. But it's the struggle that I faced in this challenge that forced me to look into stuff that never come into my mind that I should declutter. Stuff like photograph, sentimental items, just in case items, which I kept telling myself I might need them in the future, but I haven't even looked at them for the past few months. I've discovered that there's so many things in my life I don't need. They certainly don't bring me any or much value, and I hold on to them thinking that I need them in order to safe keep those memories. That's one mistake we constantly make, thinking that by keeping stuff, we are actually keeping the memories, but in fact, memories are on our mind. We can hold on to memories without keeping the physical items. Physical items are just too for us to recall or pull back certain memories, but they don't have to be in physical form. You can take a photo or scan them. Just remember to put them in your data storage. I consider myself as a sentimental guy. I love to bring back old memories and dig out old photos just to reminisce the past. So often that I need to tell myself, stop looking at the rearview mirror and focus what is in front of you at the present moment. Hunting things certainly don't bring me much value, but instead, they actually made my life worse. The endless worry on keeping things in good condition. For example, making an acrylic box to protect something precious. And I also spend a lot of time and effort to clean my room because they are covered with things. Like what Joshua Fuse Milburn said, we are what we focus on. Constantly focusing on stuff, on things, is not what I set out to be. And by decluttering all this stuff, it's almost like removing a burden from my life and I feel so good about it. Currently, what I have in my room are the things that truly bring me value. And I think after this 30 days minimalism game, I still can get rid of more items, which is a good thing. By setting up this 30 days minimalism game, it's not really to develop a habit for me to declutter, but more of experiencing and learn the lesson why I shouldn't clutter my life with things. And it also allows me to think twice when it comes to buying and adding more stuff in my life which you need time and effort to care about. Do know that this is not a challenge for you to deprive yourself and get rid of stuff so you can become a minimalist, but a challenge for you to question yourself, do this thing bring value in your life? If you'd like to challenge yourself, try out this 30 days minimalism game, let me be your accountability partner and let me know your process of decluttering. That's all I have for now and appreciate that you are taking your time to watch this video. And all the kind comments you guys always leave down in the comment section, really appreciate it. They are too kind to me. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.